Alrighty then. Howdy folks, and welcome back to the Flying T-Bar Secret. So, today marks the first of the weirdness, um, so we're going to be doing a midday show today, and then Saturday, as we always do, because for some reason I have today, or, again, my day is all for jacked up for this work week. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um... So that means we're going to dive into some more Devil May Cry 5. Uh, as always, of course, if you guys enjoy my content and all that fun stuff, you should go check out my YouTube and my Twitter. YouTube is where you can find any and all of my archived content, which is basically everything. And Twitter is where you can find any and all announcements involving the stream. So yeah, hope to see you guys over there. You know, go like, follow. If you feel like I'm worth a subscription, I ain't gonna say no. Uh, what do you guys say we go ahead and we get into the game here? Click the button. Click the button. Click the button. There we go. Honestly, I think we can push through to win this one today. Like, I think we're actually relatively close to the actual end. And it's gonna be a blast. Devil May Cry. Continue. Mission 17, Brothers. Having obtained the power of his Sin Devil Trigger form, Dante was the first to reach the deepest depths of the Clypoth, where he defeated a demon in a battle reminiscent of a past encounter, obtaining a new weapon in the process. Then, at last, he arrived at the final battleground, the uncanny er arena where Uruzin lies in wait. The truth is, I wanted to be protected. And loved, but I was alone. My only choice was to survive. Uh, uh, go ahead and do that. Hey, you gotta rest. No. And I will tell you everything. There is no demon named Yurzen. Only a man. Who threw away his humanity in an endless pursuit of power? He is Dante's older brother. Dante's brother? Yes. And it really makes sense. He came after the Yamato. Virgil. And was able to use it. Like, properly use it. That doesn't happen very often. Just saying. Uh, King Cerberus. Gunslinger. Swordmaster. All this other stuff. Mm. I haven't needed it. Oh, however, though, before we do anything else... I would like to edit this up. No, not like that. There we go. There we go. Mm. 
mission start. Holy shit. Virgil. Hey, is that the damn fruit you've been jabbering about? Doesn't look so special to me. Yep. This is where it all started. <laughs> that day mother saved me and... left you behind. The thing you don't know is, she tried to save you too. She kept searching and searching. Until I killed her. I have no recollection of this tale. Or this place. It's all an illusion. Created. By this extraordinary fruit. Its power, you see, is all I ever wanted. And with this, no. I will have everything. Oh, shit. No, brother. You don't have everything. That last shred of humanity that you still had? <laughs> you just lost it. That is nothing but the pitiful cries of those without strength. Come to me, brother. I shall enlighten you. Dante! Oh jeez. That is some time stop shenaniganry. Like I said, we have them, may as well use them. Nope, oh, 
Fuck you! Jesus. You know what? I feel like I can do better than this. I'm not just gonna keep using red orbs to the day I die. Until we freaking win it. Get out. Fuck your fucking fuck fuck. Let's actually just use this to heal. Nope. 
Focus on moving up again. Just dodge, 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 dodge. Not bad, not bad, not bad. the fact that the devil regen or double trigger regen is so much better in this game. you and your fucking losers.
not struggle. For if you can't even defeat me, then you've already lost. I will not lose. Not to Dante. <laughs> I need power. More power. I know. We are one and the same, you and I. But you've lost me. And I've lost you. Yet we are connected by that one feeling. While thy branches mix with mine, and our roots together join. <clears throat> Dante is like, oh fuck, I just realized what he's gonna do. The man is back. The Alpha and the Omega. Virtual. I was about to say, we did really bad, to be perfectly honest on that one. Mission 18, Awakening. Uruzen ate the fruit of the Clyphos and gained power beyond reckoning, but Dante's new strength proved greater still. The furious battle reached its climax, and Dante finally bringing the Demon King to his knees. As life ebbed from the Uruzen, V approached and merged with the Fallen King, where once stood man and demon, Virgil was restored. William Blake. You got some pretty big cojones for coming back. Just don't know when to give up. Defeating you like this has no meaning. Come on, Virgil. Let's do this. Heal your wounds, Dante. Get strong. After that, we'll settle the matter. <laughs> Because see, Virgil's the only one I've seen been able to actually make the portals. Thank you, Nero. Damn it. If that's your brother, what happened to V? He returned. To himself. Go home, Nero. This doesn't concern you. Like hell. I lost my right arm because of him! This is not your fight. I need to stop him, and that's all that matters. I'm not gonna let you have all the fun, Dante. You don't get it. Uh, let me guess. I'm dead weight? Well, you can that's shove not it up. What is it then? He's your father! What? <laughs> what? I had the feeling the first time I saw you, but I just wasn't sure. And then I saw how the Yamato reacted. And I was certain. He's your father. Now he needs an ass-kicking. 
But I can't have you go kill your old man. Damn. My father. I mean, this is a pretty crazy reveal. The sad part is, is basically everybody already knew. Oh, look at that. Wait, is it falling? Yes, it is falling. Because Virgil cut it. If our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Would I have your life and you mine? Let's settle this. Dante. back and I'm gonna rip him a new one. Virgil's? How? Dante! You made it for Lady and she paid for it, so consider it a rental. Hey, you can't just... Okay, okay, we'll take care of that later. Right now, you three get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go take care of old douchebag. Got a feeling this one's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> the latest model of mayhem. Kalina Ann 2. Nico made this replacement for the lost Kalina Ann, identical to the original weapon with a special something hidden within. Ultimate Ordnance Tag Team Double Kalina Ann. To wield both Kalina Ann launchers, using a new function of Kalina Ann 2 to use both in tandem. In other words, this should be crazy. Cascade. With double Kalina and equipped while on the ground, hold square and then release when the two Kalina ands couple together. Okay. Care less about that. Round trick. I think it's just a try this skill out in the void. Yes. I haven't really messed with this at all. I mean, I'm obviously not doing something right. No, that's fine. Dance Macabre, Real Impact Pyromania, Hot Stuff Percussion, etc., etc., etc. Mega Cascade, Paranoia, Honeycomb Fire, Red Hot Knight. Uh, 
I mean, I am using Swordmaster quite a bit. And I'm also using Trickster quite a bit. Okay. We'll do Trickster. And then we'll see how well we earn up some other stuff. Quick customization. Yeah, we'll just go mission start. <laughs> Get him, girl. Never would have guessed you'd come back. Damn it, V. Was this your plan all along? I mean, probably. Guys, where you been? I thought you went back into Virgil. <laughs> You're gonna wish you did. Oh, the wise guy Dante. We were spawned from Virgil's abominable thoughts. But you knew that already. Come to think of it, I did know something was off. Just like with my old brother. Well, we're merely the discarded thoughts from when he was Neo Angelo. No longer bound in his consciousness. We're here now to kill you of our own free will. Liberating! And kill you we shall, Dante. Us, not Virgil. Fuck all three of you. <laughs> Fuck you, Griffin. Great. Can't wait for the rematch. You prick. I do like King Cerberus. King Cerberus is actually a super intriguing weapon.
to see if I go that way. Oh, right, there's stuff up there. I think Balrog's still my favorite to fuck around with. But... Sound good? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> There we go. That is precisely what I said. Fuck you. That uh, must be up. Alright, find them, fucker. Shadow. Run away. Nah, didn't think so.
There we go. Okay, it popped up somewhere up there, I think. Ah, there it is. Hello, blue orb fragment. Hmm, nothing else right there. More parts fall down. can fly, go away. Oh shit. There we go. Oh. 
<laughs> Griffin, I thought you at full. <laughs> Exactly, just like we're back at fucking Malay Island. Which is where, if I remember specifically, Griffin, I fought you like three times there, and none of them you could ever beat me. Well, it's kind of a dirty lie, I'm not gonna lie, you did whip my ass a few times. Shadow, I mean, most of the time, honestly, I just have to run away from Shadow, because... They know they don't stand a chance. Are they trying to attack or something? Well, I doubt they're trying to atone, Dante. Joy. Here we go. Fucking night. Bring it on. This is a great doors. Not the worst place to die. That's not a way. Yeah, I'd rather just get my health back. Oh shit. They actually got me. Mm. Yeah, we'll do it. And boom. Got them all. Should have known better. You got a good heart, but 
They're about as sharp as a marble. Perhaps. But if you had even a little bit of trouble defeating us, imagine what Virgil can do to you. <laughs> Go see for yourself. Us. This is our final flight. And the end of Virgil's nightmare. Godspeed, Dante. You'll need it. Rest in peace, little chicken. It's been a bash. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a little sad. You have the extended armor. Where's Dante? He's got this. We gotta go now. So this guy Virgil. No way. Vaguely, yes. Dante said that guy's my father. What the hell's going on, Trish? His logic is sound. I had a hunch myself. This doesn't make any sense. I know you hate Virgil, but you can't kill your own father. It's true. You never recover from that. You saved us. You should be proud. Now you can put all this behind you. Go stop the car. No chance. After all this, are you insane? Fine. I'll go by myself. Nero! <laughs> Do so great. Mission 19. Virgil. Dante revealed the truth to Nero. Virgil is his father. Leaving the younger devil's hunter and Jacques, Dante then went alone to confront Virgil at the summit of the Clyphoth. The path was blocked by Feast Castoff, the three demons that served him until his reunion with Urizen. Having proved to them what it means to be a legendary devil hunter, all that's left is to confront his brother. Um, gonna go get the final sword master. Since we've got quite a bit going on here. But I want to leave us a mount for something else. Because I think, I think. There should be a thing with Nero and other stuff. And honestly, we're probably not going to use orbs on this one. One kind of stretched the fight, stretched the rest of the hey, game Virgil, out for a while. Your portal opening days are over. Give me the Amato. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. But you already knew that. I had a feeling you'd say that. How many times have we fought? Hard to say. It's the only memory I have of us since we were kids. <laughs> Time to finish this, Virgil. Once and for all. I won't lose to the likes of you, little brother. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Ow! Fuck you and your fucking swords. I can do that too. Just like old times. Running away. Cause fuck your horse shit. God damn it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this proper instead of just abusing the fuck out of gold orbs. Your fucking sword, you prick. Swords. Damn it.
Getting better. However, like I said, I don't want to. I don't want to abuse the orbs. Besides, this fight's actually really fun. I won't lose the likes of you. Fuck you and your fucking spectre sword bullshit. Okay, so now he's in the same double trip. Damn it. being halfway kind of dumb.
booster from the beginning of the mission. Okay, that's all we'll do. Mission start. There we go. Devil trigger. That's right. Come on. Thank you. Cut you down. Thank you. God damn it. We're not doing too bad so far. However, I think I am going to go ahead and... I won't lose to the likes of you, little brother.
lose out on so much damage if I don't use s certain stuff. I won't lose to the likes of you. Oh no, you don't. Fuck you and your fucking seven swords. Bullshit. Ah, oh, fuck me. Just gonna dodge, get as much health back as we can. Uh, here we go again.
Shit. Doppelganger, really? Got rid of his doppelganger. Take it up. This last phase. Come on, not here. I won't lose the life of you.
Ho! Well, there's a strategy I never even think of before. Oh, bullshit. Absolute horseshit. However, I've now got a pretty effective method of stalling out his healing at the very least. However, we're getting fucking air hike. Like, in fact, if I can actually refund some stuff. I hope that's a thing. Uh, okay, that is not a thing. And it auto saves the moment I leave. Damn, that's kind of a dickhead thing to do. Swords formation, conjure four swords to automatically attack, evade, and block on your behalf. But it consumes two things a double trigger. Now what? I think we're good. Air hike should help me dodge dickheadery from his sin devil trigger form. Which is gonna be a huge plus. I won't lose to the likes of you.
So, he's gonna do this, jump, dodge, jump, dodge, jump, dodge, now just lots of dodge. Yeah. 
This would not be their end. Nero, having found his own reasons to fight, comes between his father and uncle. There will be no fratricide this day. Sudden, I find out I have a family. What am I supposed to do with that? You always know which path is right and which is wrong. There's no need to doubt yourself. Thanks. <laughs> I guess that's all I needed to hear. I have one last thing to take care of. Again, how the fuck is there a phone working all the way up here? I couldn't protect Kratos. To this day, I hate myself for not having enough strength. But this time is different. I swear! I'm not letting you die! <laughs> Boom, bitches. Sins right here. Listen to me. I told you already. This is not your boom. <laughs> you listen, dead weight. I won't let you kill each other. There are other ways of settling your differences. I'm putting a stop. To this sibling rivalry. <laughs> ah, you came all this way just for that. Virgil. V. Whatever you call yourself. Dante's not gonna die here. And neither are you. Do you have a problem with that? <sighs> not gonna die my ass. Oh, that bitch slap nearly killed me. If I beat Nero, then by default, I beat you, agreed Dante. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm just gonna sit this one out. <laughs> <laughs> has nothing to do with you. Damn it. Nothing to do with me? It has everything to do with me! Take it!
Okay. Ha! There we go. Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> Oh shit, that's right. I can't just dodge like that. Ah! No, we're not. I am not winning this fight that way. Well, at least we're gonna give this to good old college try. Let me put it that way. This has nothing to do with you. Stand down. Nothing to do with me? It has everything to do with me! Oh, no, you don't. Okay, yeah, we can totally beat him. I just need to kind of figure out.
and you made it this far, so now you so you know by now you can't win by swinging wildly. This has nothing to do with love. Stand down. Fuck you! Just keep jumping, just keep jumping, just keep jumping, just keep jumping. Popping that, and now we gotta do some jumpy jumps. Oh no, 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 no. Fuck me. Because I don't know how I'm gonna dodge this. Oh god. 
I just need to get a good portion of health back. Gotcha, bitch. Off your own son's arm for more power, and you still lost. <laughs> Enough, damn it! The underworld is taking over. We need to do something before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reminder, guys, of like what we're actually doing here. He's right. We need to close that portal. Hey, you lost, so you better do what he says. <sighs> I can still fight. But if those roots continue to spread through town, it'll just interfere with our business. Now, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. Better hurry up. We still got a score to settle. Evidently. Wait! Where are you going? We need to sever the Clyphod roots from the underworld itself. Then we'll seal the portal with the Yamato. Hang on. If you do that, you can't come back. Why do you think I'm going? Somebody's got to keep an eye on your old man. <laughs> you can't just expect me to stay here while you both go. It's away. because you're here, we can go. We're trusting you with things on this side. Capiche? Make haste, Dante. Yeah, I know. Hey, wait! Bam! <laughs> Nero, you're still a little too young. Take care, Nero. Adios. I won't lose next time. Hold on to that until then. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah, well, both those idiots can still actually whip your ass. To be perfectly honest, the only reason you had a chance against Virgil Nero is because of the fact that Dante just got done smacking him around for God knows how long. Shock. About what? Uh, duh. Your arm? Who the hell grows an arm back? It's just weird. It's like a lizard tail or something. Look, I don't know. It just grew. Ugh. I mean, are you kidding me? Lots of weird stuff happened. There were demons and scary plant roots and arms growing back. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Do you know how much love and care I put in that devil breaker? <sighs> nope. This arm, it's nice. So, uh, how's it feel? How's what feel? Saving the man who killed your own father. Heard Dante killed Virgil once. It doesn't matter. They're both gone now anyway. It's okay to cry. 
If you want, Nero, over a loss. I'm not crying. It doesn't make you a cry, baby. It does make you a little bitch, though. There it is. You think I'm a demon? You pretty well confirmed your part demon. I didn't cry when my asshole daddy died. But... Yeah, I know, I know. I wouldn't be here without him, that's a biological fact. Right. All I'm saying is, tough guy, it's okay to cry if you want. That I'm was not crying. Cry. Devil's cry. I'm not gonna Kittens cry. cry. Will you Meow. shut up? Will you stop? Cry? It? Look Whoa. at you. You're no, but why nobody's you crying. My shoulder. Right? Stop Devil saying cry. cry. My shoulder. I know you, you wanna. You say cry again. Devil may cry. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Hey, Kitty. Uh, yeah, I'm coming home. Oh yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but I got a surprise for you. Oh yeah, he's got a huge surprise. You shut up. No, 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 Kitty, not you. Nico, you know, and her big mouth. What the hell's your problem? Where'd you learn to drive? Mm. Hey, uh, sorry, I gotta call you later. <laughs> Time to get back to work. Got an arm. You're good. It's a prototype, and this is the perfect place to test it out. Look, you're gonna use it, and it's, it's a, a work, work of art. art. Gotcha. And it ain't complete without you. Well, how sweet. Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking do this. Oh god. Get over here, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, would you look at that? The Clyphos breach stuff. Yes, that's the end then. This is the greatest so cutscene. All we gotta do is cut this thing down. That's right. <laughs> I'm more than capable of handling this on my own. You're gonna need some help. And someone to keep an eye on you.
<laughs> so, not so good with Nero, but good with Dante. Um, and we're not there yet. But, I mean, we are doing credits, and I don't think we have to worry about anything for a while. So, um, thoughts on the game, storyline, obviously it's fucking fantastic. Orger comes back, she confirms that Nero is, you know, Virgil's kid, and all sorts of other craziness. Like, it, it's, it's just, mm, mm, it's good. It's the most fleshed out, not plot holy version of a Devil May Cry game possible without being too heavy on story, which is perfect. I mean, that's what you want in a Devil May Cry game. Um, combat. Need I say more? It's Devil May Cry 5. Like, it's fucking awesome. Um, I mean, Nero's the, my only complaint really is uh, Nero's new arms. I mean, they're cool, but at the same, and like some of them are really fun, but they're not better than the Devil Bringer from Four. So that's my only real complaint, I guess. Um. So, it's not bad. Uh, oh, uh, also on story. Uh, there is a big thing of the fact that it also brings in, like, like this game confirms, although I'm pretty sure they confirmed it in previous interviews and stuff. But in this, they confirmed that, like, the Devil May Cry anime is canon. Um... You know, everything is canon up to this point. I mean, including 2, because it goes 3, 1, 2, 4, 5 is the timeline. With the anime, I think, coming in between 2 and 4, or 4 and 5. So, because that's the reason why we have Morrison and Patty. Now, that leads into the next tangent. The... They have every important character in the game, except Lucia. Like, I wish Lucia would have been a thing. Um, but then there's also Kyrie. Like, she obviously exists. You talk to her on the phone. Would have been cool to actually see her, though. 
like that is I guess another minor issue that I have is I would have loved to actually see her in the game in fact, honestly, it would have been even cooler if, like, hey, she learned how to shoot a gun and was, like, killing some demons and shit. Like, just chilling at her house and these demons show up and she's like, bam, 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 bam. You're interrupting my making dinner for everyone. Go away. Like, that would have been epic. Um, Nico, obviously a fantastic character with a really interesting backstory that leads into everything else. Because you have stuff like uh, Nell Goldstein being the person who made uh, Dante's gun, while at the same time, um, she's Agnes's daughter. You know, Stutter Boy from 4. It's very, very intriguing, to say the least. Uh, Trish is awesome, Lady is awesome. Obviously, your three playable characters are awesome. Not a huge fan of V. I mean, it's kind of fun, but it's honestly more of a button mashing fest, in my opinion. And we gotta listen to things. Wow. No sign of them. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah. Then can I have this office? I've been thinking it's almost time for me to settle down somewhere. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I rather quite like it. <laughs> oh, I hate to spoil your dreams, ladies, but that shit ain't gonna happen. What do you mean, Morrison? See, there's this D to this place, and I have it. Why do you... Clever little devil came to see me right before his last job. Said something like... My dearest friend, I know you'll keep this safe because them crazy bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say crazy bitches? I'm sorry, I meant ladies. Anyway, the rest of the story is not important. You get the gist. <laughs> well, plans on coming back. Got me. What is important is I have a job for you too. Because <sighs> the rent ain't free. <laughs> well, at least it's gonna be a steadier flow of money than Dante. <laughs> to think this is never gonna end maybe you got plenty of time Now all of a sudden they turn into <laughs> I love that one. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite jackpot. Because you have Virgil in the background going, Don't you say it! <laughs> and Dot is like, Jackpot! <laughs> absolutely love it. It's fantastic. Son of Sparta mode. Bloody Palace. Nero's demonic right arm has been restored, and he can now use both Devil Bringer and Devil Trigger. Dante can equip Rebellion, Devil Sword Sparta, or Devil Sword Dante. Nico's reports the enemy reports have expanded to include photos meant to capture the moment of an enemy's defeat. Costume changes, yada yada yada. Devil May Cry. 
could care less on any of that, but what I do want is the main menu. Okay, so gallery. Starting with Nico's report. No. Library. So we've got Morrison's letter part four. Which, the last time in Morrison's letter, he managed to track down Dante. And Dante and Lady had already met up, doing business together and all that. Decided he wasn't going to dig into the past. Morrison's letter, part four. A few years went by and Dante went off to an island. Something about a case this pretty young thing brought in. Seems the Demon King was trying to break a seal to get into our world, and she wanted Dante to stop him. So our boy went off on a ship to Malay Island I chartered for him. And the pretty young thing that went with him? That was Trish, I gotta say. I was taken aback when I first laid eyes on her. A dead ringer for Dante's late mother. I'd never met the woman. But can you believe the guy used to have a framed photo of her on his desk? Bet you'd never have guessed that one. Anyway, it was only later that I learned of Trish's true demonic nature. She was... She was to lure Dante to his death on Malay Island, a sad creature created for the birth of the Demon King. The photo on Dante's desk was common knowledge at that time, so I guess the Demon King wanted to take advantage of his filial affection. All sorts of things went down on that island. Dante took out the Demon King once and for all and came back to Devil May Cry with Trish and Toe. I don't know the details of what transpired out there. Prying into such matters is unbecoming of one in my position. Besides, the important thing is that back then, Dante defeated the ruler of the demon world. And this time around, when V showed up, guess what task he had for our boy Dante? Defeat the resurrected demon king. So, Dante took the case and hoofed it to Redgrave City. Is the demon king waiting for him there the same one from Malay Island? Your guess is as good as mine. Still, I can't shake the feeling that this whole thing is connected to Dante's roots somehow. After all, this is THE Tony Redgrave we're talking about here. And there you have it, the whole kit and caboodle. If I learn anything new, I'll be di I'll be sure to contact you. So don't go dying on me before I do. I think I see another beautiful friendship in the works here, kid. Don't let me down. And here we go. Fortuna, Town of Mystery. The town of Fortuna is surrounded by high ramparts and has been cut off from the outside world for many years. Perhaps this is the reason for the er, anachron uh, anachronistic, almost medieval atmosphere within the city walls. The town is governed by a religious organization known as the Order of Sword. 99% of the population are devotees. The Order deifies the Dark Knight Sparta, a being spoken of in various myths around the world and worships him as their god. Legend tells the Sparta ruling Fortuna as a feudal lord sometime in the country's history. There was once a massive structure in Fortuna that the Order worshipped as a gate of sorts, but it collapsed years ago as a resort of an uh, as a result of an earthquake. The citizens work to clear away debris from the incident even today. Some fans, uh, some fancy that earthquake to be an act of demons or divine punishment for the worship of a false god. But the end, such talk is simply idle gossip. Still, the truth is that earthquake led to the demise of the Order's top echelon. The organization is now an autonomous group without a leader and has shrunk significantly in size. Da, 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 story. Oh, it just has all the stuff here. Jukebox. And then we have all this cool stuff. Although. Huh. Uh, da, 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 da. Art. Be Nico Morrison, Trish, Lady, Virgil, Eva, Nightmare, 
You know, I'm kind of happy that Nightmare didn't take the form that he took in Malay Island because that would have been irritating. Dante, Devil Trigger, Sin, Devil Trigger, Virgil, Virgil, and Sin, Devil Trigger, Nero. That's basically it. Not a whole hell of a lot. Except then we have enemies. The Empusa line, we got the Reapers. Fucking Caesar motherfuckers. Uh, Riot. Behemoth. Uh, Urizen. Goliath. That's, honestly, he's kind of a cool one. Although, Artemis, like, being able to see Artemis as an actual demon is great. Uh, Nidhogg. Elder Garion. Kind of crazy to see Garion again. Been a while. Gilgamesh. Another one that's actually really cool because we got to see his devil, uh, devil arm long before we got to see what he looks like. And after you battle him, you can see where the move set comes from for the Gilgamesh devil arm. I can only imagine that these fuckers just spawning in the underworld now has got to absolutely piss Virgil off. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure this would be an affront to him every time. And this is, honestly, it's a very... Like, because the sword is like a lightning version of Devil Sword Dante almost to a degree. Because it's got like elemental bit that lights up in the middle and whatnot. Um, it also makes me wonder if maybe there's some sort of connection to Alistair. Malphus, you're a pain in the ass. Makes me wonder also if there's a connection with Malphus. And the freaking three-headed thing from two. Or three-faced thing from two. King Cerberus, I mean, it's just, like, it's a really cool idea, and I like it a lot. Weapons! Blue Rose is a dope gun. The Damato. Ebony and Ivory. And then we've got the Red Queen, Dump Sword Sparta. Which, that's crazy, so they actually show a full actual height comparison with the Dante concept art there. Then we've got Dr. Faust. <laughs> the new Kalina Ann, which is fucking terrifying. And then we got Balrog, which... We never fight anything named Balrog. Because, like, there's Burial and there's Phantom that are fire based demons from previous games. So, this is another one where we don't know what the demon looks like. Then we got Rebellion. Rebellion looks cool, as always. And then the Devil Sword Dante. So, see what I mean? Like, you compare the Devil Sword Dante sword here in the middle to. Cavalier Angelo's sword, and you can see where there's kind of a similarity there. The Devil Breaker Connector, Overture, oh hey, the Overture, and then we've got Ragtime. Oh, uh, that's the Buster Arm, which is freaking cool looking. Helter Skelter, hmm. Uh, punchline. Rocket punch, bitches. Rawhide's fucking fantastic. I loved that one. And Gerbera's fucking fun. I just love Gerbera. Uh, didn't actually ever use Tomboy, so... And we've got concept art. Red Grave City. That's actually a really cool look right there. Um, reminds me of a specific corner in Shibuya. Um, ugh, just, the only reason I know that is, the world ends with you. 
And this is something that I never like. I didn't rant about this earlier in the game, I think. But when you have all the guys, like the military dudes who are trying to like block the bridge and shit, like you would think that they'd be like, you know what? These assault rifles aren't really cutting it. Let's bring out the 50 cal. And to me, that just makes sense. Like, oh, hey, let's just freaking, you know, do the thing. Uh... Oh, uh, Nero's Garage. And more Red Grave City, although you've got Nero doing that, which is fucking cool. Uh, v approaching Nidhogg. Both of them running around. All sorts of cool stuff. Dante versus Cavalier Angelo. Which, I do have to say this. Dante against Cavalier Angelo, like, he knows immediately who it is. Because he straight up is making fun of her, being like, you know, that outfit's kind of garish. <laughs> I'm going to Clive Fothmore, and that's it. I will kill that fucking fly, I swear to God. And I like the fact that the different orbs throughout the game have received so much redesign to them. Like, to me, it just makes sense. And, oh, we have the, um, um, people who turned into Klypos Fallen. Pollen. Pollen. And Nico's reports. Character reports. Fuck. Miss something? <laughs> Nero, the proprietor of Devil May Cry, the finest mobile business to ever grace the streets of Fortuna. Nero grew up as a holy knight in the Order of the Sword, but when the demon started menacing his lady love, Kyrie, he figured it was time to explore the devilish powers in his right arm. During the Fortuna incident, Nero discovered his connection to Yamato, the sword once wielded by Dante's brother. This connection suggests that he somehow got the blood of Sparta running through his veins. Nero lost his arm, or Nero lost his arm a little after the Fortuna incident, but luckily, he had yours truly fix him up with some bitchin' hardware. Now he's back stronger than ever. He's probably real grateful, just too shy to say thank you. I get it. Oh, whoops, I don't want that. Keep going. Dante. Everyone seems to start any talk about Dante with the son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta. You ask me, Dante himself is pretty legendary too. So he gets a job from this V fella who shows up out of nowhere, and he goes down to the underworld to steal back Yamato from the Demon King, the guy who stole it from Nero. Surprise twist, even Dante can't stand up to the guy. I mean, he gets wrecked. Just goes to show there ain't no such thing as the perfect man. Lots well, of mystery about this one. Call me Paranoid, but V just might be a fake name. Still, he calls himself a devil hunter, and he's got the power to prove it. Or his demon animal friends do, at least. All V can do is deliver the fi final blow with that cane of his, which I'd better take a better look at if I get the chance. Seems the pattern in those tattoos of his is what binds his little helpers to him. They're the basis of his power. Speaking of... That ain't the kind of power that a plain old human could wield. Griffin, one of, the, one of the demons V has at his beck and call. Apparently this chatty bird thing specializes in shock and awe. Hits everything with lightning strikes. Now, my demonology text shows some references to a demon just like this one, but it was defeated by Dante years ago. Just a coincidence, I guess. I sure as heck can't find out anything more about this pecker. One of the demons that keeps V from getting himself killed. 
Seems that the uh, seems to stick to the whole big black cat motif for the most part, but it can shape shift or shift shape when it wants to. Again, the old texts collected by the Lord of the Sword talk about a beak just like this one, only it never would have played nice with a human. Around V, though, this thing's as meek as a buttercup in the breeze. And, and don't tell me it's just because V's good with animals. The last of V's demon helpers, unlike the other two, doesn't seem like this thing thinks for itself. And as I can make out, it's only got three purposes. Destruction, destruction, and destruction. Although, unlike V's other two helpers, I'm not seeing any references to a demon like this one in any of the old Order of the Sword texts. What does that mean? That not even the Order knew this thing existed? No, because actually it was kind of an experimental thing. Like, not even freaking Mundus was like, really know what the fuck is it. Nico, gods get the gunsmithing and the queen of machines. That's yours truly. I'm the granddaughter of the one and only Nail Goldstein, the 45 caliber virtuoso. Gunsmithing's in my DNA. Gotta wonder whether Nero realizes just how lucky he is to be partnered up with a guy like me. Lady in Fatigues. When Lady got rescued in the buff, it fell to yours truly to keep her assets safe from dry knives. Yeah, my clothes look a little baggy on her, but that's just because she's the scrawny type. Don't mean I'm heavy or nothing. I guess Nero would have enjoyed seeing her in something flashier, but around here, you're thankful for what you get. If there's one word for lady, it's prolific. She's done devil hunting, devil hunter gigs all over, and back when I was running my gun shop, she was one of my best customers. Why does she call herself lady? Heck if I know. I ain't gonna pry into another gal's private business unless she stops paying her gun tab. Come to think of it, I ain't never seen lady do something that didn't involve killing demons. She's kind of messed up. Lady may just be human, but when the hellfire and bullets start flying, there ain't any others better to have by your side. Her getting taken down by the Steaming King is just is enough to give me the jitters. Not that I'm gonna hightail it, of course. It's my weapons out there on the front line. They'll get the job done. Guaranteed. Trish is Dante's partner, right? I ain't no expert on the woman, but she ain't as human as she looks, that's for sure. I mean, no normal human beings can just shoot lightning bolts on command. I heard that during the Fortuna incident, she infiltrated the Order of the Sword. That's when Nero first ran into her. She was saying he was so inexperienced when he first met me. Now what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Trace is a demon through and through, even though she couldn't take down the big bad king. I mean, sure, Dante got his ass beat too, but I kind of hoped one of the gals would pick up the slack and save the day for once. Morrison. I never met this fellow myself, so all I got to go on is the rumors. J.D. Morrison, the info broker who set Dante on a bunch of demon killing jobs. Lady seems to have had a few run-ins with him too. So great, we finally got someone around who, who's in the know. Why can't he pass Nero a gig or two? Eva. Dante's mom, the woman the Dark Knight Sparta fell for, in other words. She must have been a heck of a gal to snag the legendary Dark Knight himself. I guess her feminine instincts were so strong, even giving a demon a hug was no problem for her. one arm Nero. The way Kyrie tells it, Nero's cooled down a lot these days. But that said, he did run straight down to hell to try to kick some ass. Asses while he was still missing an arm. The guy ain't exactly a level-headed individual. Sure, he can fight better with one arm than most people could with three. But... Taking on a new Demon King minus your good arm ain't exactly the height of common sense. But it did give me the opportunity to dream up the Devil Breaker, so I guess it wasn't a total loss. <laughs> Battling demons, seeing all kinds of crazy crap coming up from the underworld, that's all in the day's work for Devil Hunters. But to watch a guy who's three quarters human just bust out a new arm, that's deeply unsettling. I thought my beautiful Devil Breaker was headed for the scrap heap, but it looks like Nero confuses new arm with the Devil Breaker and use them both. Even raw demon power knows a good thing when it sees it. Devil Trigger Nero. Before, Nero needed Yamato to tap into demonic power, but this, it's all him, baby, his true power unleashed. 
I guess getting his right arm back wasn't enough, so he ended up with two big feathery ones stuck to his back. I'm starting to think Nero's got a hang up about arms and power. I gotta remind him he can still use the Devil Breaker in this form. Ain't no... Ain't no true perfect demon crap gonna upstage my designs. Alright, Dante. Awaken Dante. I knew the one and only Dante wouldn't stay down for the count. But to absorb Rebellion and Sparta into himself to unlock a whole new level of power? Woo-wee! These legendary types sure know how to stage a comeback. I hear he was out of the action for a whole month following his ass kicking at the hands of the Demon King, but for some reason the Clypoth, or the Clyphoth was pumping him full of demonic power the whole time. Not only did this speed up his recovery, it seems it even made his beard and hair grow out. Uh, better do this quickly. So, if you're a demon and you see this, you know you've screwed up. This is Dante's getting it done look. He may only be half demon, but when it, uh, but when that half is the blood of Sparta, that's some high octane gas you're working with. Most full demons don't stand a chance. Not only could he move faster and hit harder than anything else in the room, his wounds heal up in a flash. This is the full demon killing package. Sin Devil Trigger Dante. Dante's true form. The two. Uh, with the two swords absorbed into him, his true power awakened. He can't stay in this form for long, but heck, overwhelming power doesn't have to last long enough to deal devastating damage. With the power of Sparta unleashed, there's no telling the strength Dante has at his disposal. Maybe more than Sparta himself. Our, uh, Dying V. Our pal V is not in peak physical condition. Seems what little demonic power he has is all that's keeping him together. If that power dries up, it'll be a little difficult for him to maintain his human form. Of course, that ain't a problem for us normal humans or demons. V's keeping secrets, and whatever they are, they gotta be connected to his current condition. Alright, I think we got... Oh, Nico at work. Yeah, I tend to make any outfit look good, but my mechanic getup is my personal favorite. When I put this on, it's like donning the holy vestments of the Church of the Gun, and I, and I am always ready to preach. The fact that cigarette ash doesn't leave a mark on it don't hurt neither. Nico and fatigues. When you're working with bits of, uh, with bits and pieces of demons, it's wise to take a few precautions. More than once, I've been fiddling with the vitals of some nether beast, only to have them blow up in my face. And let's be serious. This is the face. This is a face that deserves protection. I know that hiding my good looks makes y'all a little sad, but hey, absence makes the hot girl fonder. Don't worry, I'll finish up my work real quick. All right. So we went through all the character reports, except apparently I'm missing one, which is probably about Virgil. Unless, hang on, we've got Virgil stuff here, don't we? We do! Hey, would you look at that? So he's listed as an, as an enemy. Um, Virgil, son of the legendary Dark Knight and Dante's brother. Lady says he once lost to Dante and got his ass thrown into the depths of the underworld. Later, he turned to his sword, the Yamato, on himself, using its power to cleave demon from human, and so sever everything that was holding back his demonic side. So V was the humanity he left by the wayside. Well, they're back together now. Virgil's weekend days are over. Seems crazy to think that the weird bastard who ripped off your arm was Virgil all along. Once you took Yamato out of your, or er, once he took Yamato out of your torn off arm, he could use its power to cut the human side out of himself. But even with all that raw power, he couldn't take down Dante. When he cast aside his quest, uh, what he cast aside in his quest for strength turned out to be the most important thing of all. Yep, his true power was inside him all along. <laughs> the look on your face, what a bunch of corny crap. Sin Devil Trigger Virgil. Virgil's true form, he always thought that his humanity was stopping him from unleashing his full potential. Well, he sure got his demon power figured out now. Guess this is the payoff from his time being a uh, Eurozen. In this form, Yamato, the source of his power, is stored in his arms. Maybe this is the true form of Yamato, too.
All right, that's all I've really got for the moment. Whoa, wait, hang on. Ah, uh, no, they don't really say anything about Fortuna. And what about Artemis? You ever heard of Machiavelli? He's a legend, one of the underworld's top gunsmiths. Oh, I already read this in a previous stream. Yeah, motherfucker made a demonic gun. Alright, guys. Well, I think we're gonna call it there. We're pretty close to that three hour mark, so did pretty good, and hey, we managed to beat the game. Which is all sorts of great, in my opinion. So, I want to say thank you all for tuning in to the Flying T-Bar-C this evening. Really appreciate you guys' viewership. I will be back after a short break to be playing some more Strategy segment stuff, where that means we're going to be fucking around and finding out with Final Fantasy Tactics Advance A2. Um, go check out my YouTube and my Twitter. And let's go ahead and find someone to raid. Which, you know what? I think we're going to raid. Yeah, we'll go ahead and raid Anaya Pariah. Looks like she's playing some Phasmophobia. So. Now at that rate right time has started, folks, don't forget, make sure you guys enjoy yourselves some good food, some great drinks, even better company, and I'll see y'all on the flip side. Happy trails, folks. Boop. <laughs>